welcome back to Going Live. Don't worry, it says, what Thank an optimistic you. song. I think so, yeah. Tell me, how long has it taken you, or do you think will it take you, to stop thinking back and start thinking about your future? Um, well, I like to think that I am thinking um, forward and not so much back in the past. Um, I mean, obviously, I still dwell in the past, but um, I look forward more. So, um, to you as Kim Appleby, out there yes. on your own? Well, yeah, on my own, but um, I'm still out there doing it for Mel. If you get let, let, me, let me take that on with a question from Mark, first of all. Was it a tough decision getting started after Mel's death? Um, yes, it was. Um, I wasn't sure what I was going to do after Mel passed away. Um, but I spoke to my mum, and my mum thought it was a good thing for me to do for myself and for Melanie as well, and for the people around me. Absolutely. Joanne. Um, did you always want to be a pop star? Oh, God, yes. Um, <laughs> when we were younger, me and Mel would sing along to Marvin Gaye and Diana Ross, probably well, well before your time. But I would be Marvin Gaye and Melanie would be Diana Ross and we'd do these duets together. Is that just because you were taller? <laughs> No, because I was deeper. Because you had a deeper voice. <laughs> mm, I don't know, some Marvin Gaye record. <laughs> yeah, so, um, yeah, always wanted to sing and dance, always. And we've got a question from Alan. Hi. Um, oh. Who have you been inspired by musically? Um, well, we grew up with a lot of Motown stuff that my mum and dad used to play. And uh, later on, I used to listen to a lot of Elvis Costello and... Uh, do you remember Alvin Stardust as well? <laughs> All this. Um, Did you have gloves? Do you wear the gloves? And, and the rings. rings. And the well, you've got yeah. the rings, haven't you, really? <laughs> Put that down um, to Alvin. <laughs> <laughs> but um, I would say probably soul music, really. A lot of soul music. And we've got a question from Christina. Where did you learn to dance? Um, we used to go to a lot of clubs when we were younger. Um, it was without sounding... Flash, it's it's natural. We we just dance. We used to do the choreograph stuff, you know, Mel and Kim for respectable and showing out. But um, this time, you know, I'm just doing doing it naturally. But um, we're natural dancers anyway. Right? You don't have to go to classes. And no, 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 no. Exercise. Oh, I think I'm so you jealous. Know, <laughs> you dance, I think dancing should come from the heart anyway. You know, I think you can either dance or you can't dance. What about getting a dance across in a video? Because you have in this one, and yes. don't worry. Now, do you do you have a lot of say in how those videos are put together so that you see exactly what you want to see? Yes, I do. Yes, I do. I work with the, the director closely as well, Leanne. But um, I knew what I wanted. I had this mental picture in my mind how I wanted the video to look. Plus, I wanted to put some dancing in there because uh, I love dancing. So I didn't just want to be wanted it to be a performance video. Um, I did some stuff with the guys, but I didn't want to be stuck with the guys so that every time I perform, people expect to see me with the guys. So I wanted to, um, you know, draw the line. To be able to see it, just to focus in on you mainly, because we want to see you. Absolutely. Well, I think so. But, but, but bring in everybody <laughs> else, so. you know, actually sort of reintroduce you, as it were. Yeah, yeah I can understand yeah. that. Um, Gemma. Are you ever going to perform with Craig? Sorry, I couldn't hear that. Are you ever going to perform with Craig? <gasps> You get right in here, you know. Don't muss about. Quite, we want to know. We want to know the goss. <laughs> I haven't been asked that one before. Gosh, um, no, no. Um, Craig helped me and Mel co-write the album, and uh, Craig works on a lot of his own stuff. But no, you won't be seeing us doing any singing together. I'll hold you to that one. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> it's a Christmas single coming out. <laughs> yes. Yes. <laughs> I'll think of one for you. I'll try and think of a good one for you. Dodgy people. Oh, God. Now, that's a track from the album. Mm -hmm. You're going to call the album Dodgy People. Who are these dodgy people? <laughs> Go on. Well, going, I can't can... possibly say on live TV who these dodgy people are. Yes, you can. That's what we're asking. No, um, it's a tongue-in-cheek thing. It's not meant to be taken too seriously. And dodgy people are not necessarily bad people. They're just characters that you don't trust. You know, but it doesn't make them bad. It was very tongue-in-cheek. It was just the experiences that we had had and people that we we had known before, so we decided to write a track about dodgy people. But they actually can be quite likeable people too. <laughs> Ads, hastily, hastily. What do you see for your future now? Um, Take us through the next 12 months, how you would love it to be. Well, I'd like to carry on having hits, obviously, and I'd love, I really want to tour next year. I really do, I want to work 
very hard towards that. Well, the album comes out in November. a month's time. Yeah, November. Right. I won't say what date because it's always going back or going forward. It all depends. But November, the album. Well, we look forward to that, and we look forward to seeing much, much more of you. Kim, thanks so much Thank for you. coming in this morning. Thank you thanks. very much. Now, I was handed a piece of paper just before from um, Trevor and Simon, and they, they told me to read this out. It says, 